Hello folks, this is uh, 2022 October November session paper 1 2 and the question number is 13. This question is concerned with the chapter forces. It is more about torque or moment. It says a box of length 12 cm, so 12 cm and a weight 0 0.43 newton, 0 0.43 newton of this uh, of this box is placed on a horizontal table with a greater part of its length overhanging the edge of the table. So greater part means this much part is overhanging from the edge so from the edge the edge of the table acts as a pivot so this is pivot or fulcrum or fulcrum we can say the center of the gravity of the box is at the geometric center so the cg of this box is somewhere here somewhere here which is at the geometric center of this rectangle so if i draw a line like this and line like this so the point where they cross will be the center of gravity of this thing so that means the weight will be acting right here the weight of the box will be acting right here which is like this it is 0 0.43 newton so weight will be acting here to balance the box to balance the box a uniform sphere of a diameter 2.4 centimeter centimeters is placed inside the box touching one end so the the so the sphere will be touching the box at one end like this Assume that the forces acting on the box are in the plane of the diagram. So that means the box is also on the plane. No, sorry, the ball also on the plane and the box also on the plane. What is the minimum mass of the sphere that is needed to maintain the system in equilibrium? So we have to balance this box. So, so it doesn't fall like this. So what's the minimum mass of the sphere that is needed to maintain? So first of all, let us find you the torque or moment given by this box. So this is the pivot. The force is like this so this box will will try to rotate like this anti-clockwise and this anti-clockwise torque will be equal to tau a will be equal to the force here the force here which is 0 0.43 newton into the perpendicular distance from the from the perpendicular distance from the line of action of this force from this fulcrum from this fulcrum which is this much so this distance should be somewhat like this this should be so this is 12 this is at the center so this whole thing should be six this should be six centimeter and this is a 2.4 centimeter so six 2.4 this thing should be six minus 2.4 which is equal to 6.0 minus 2.4 should be equal to 3.6 so this is should be 3.6 centimeter so this tau and is equal to this into 3.6 so tau a equal to 0.43 newton into 3.6 centimeter like this now the clockwise rotation or clockwise torque on this thing is given by the sphere the weight of the sphere act like this act like this and this will try to move this thing like this like this so this is the weight of the ball weight of the ball or the sphere and that's equal to let, let me say it is as mg now this mg the distance of this fulcrum from this line of action should be half of the diameter of this ball so this is the diameter it's, it's half so it should be so tau clockwise should be equal to weight of the ball which is mg mg into this distance this is equal to half of the diameter so it should be equal to 1.2 so that means now when it is in balance we must have tau clockwise equal to tau anti-clockwise this should give us mg into 1.2 is equal to 0 0.43 into 3.6 it will then, then give me m is equal to 0 0.43 into 3.6 divided by uh, g is a 9.81 into this is 1.2 so when i do calculations so 0.43 into 3.6 divided bracket 9.81 into 1.2 back close so this becomes equal to 0 0.131498 kgs and nearly equal to 0 0.13 kgs so 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 our answer nearest answer will be choice number b so this is the correct choice